Welcome to Mr. Handicap. Let's take a look at race number 11 at Tampa Bay Downs on Saturday. It's the grade 3 Tampa Bay Derby. It's a mile of 16 with a purse of $400,000. 50 points going to the winner. It is a Kentucky Derby prep race. Only one horse has won the Tampa Bay Derby and has gone on to win the Kentucky Derby. That was 2007. That was Street Sense. Let's take a look at the field of 12. Look at the one horse, Lord Miles, at 12 to 1. Broke his maiden at Gulfstream by an impressive 5 and 3 quarters. Last race out, grade 3 Holy Bull. Had a rough start. It just didn't race well in that race at all. And he finished 6. Getting 12 to 1 on the one horse, Lord Miles. Take a look at the two horse classic car wash at eight to one. Broke his maiden in the second try. Next time out, he won by two and a half. His last race, Sam Davis, finished third. Behind by two and three quarters. Mark Cassius trainer has won this race twice. Getting Eight to one on a two horse classic car wash. I will use classic car wash on my tickets. Take a look at the three horse classic legacy. That's six to one. Trained by Bill Mott, who has won this race twice. Two races back, he broke his maiden on a sloppy track at Aqueduct by three and a half. And off about a little bit over a two-month layoff, Mott ran him into Sam Davis, where he finished a closing fourth in that race. This is his second off a layoff. I think he's going to be sharper in this one. And Mott, using the services of Irad Ortiz, getting six to one on a three-horse Classic Legacy. I will use Classic Legacy on my tickets. Take a look at the four, Groveland, at six to one. Out of five career starts, he's never been out of the money. His last three races, broke his maiden by a neck, and got back to back second place finishes. An allowance race. In the grade three, Sam Davis. Another thing I like about this horse is that he outruns his odds. In practically every every race. In his maiden debut, he's 28 to 1. He finished third in that race. Two races after that, when he broke his maiden, he was 7 to 1. Then in that allowance race, he was 8-1, to one, and last time out, he was 21-1. to one. So his horse outruns his eyes. You're only getting 6-1 to one on him in this one. It's the four-horse Groveland at 6-1. to one. Take a look at the five-horse Mikey Bananas at 30-1. to one. Out of seven races, he has one win. With those speed figures, he's not going to be able to compete with this group. Getting 30 to 1 on the 5 horse, Mikey Bananas. And is your morning line favorite at 8 to 5, Tap It Trice. He won his last race out by 8. Broke his maiden on a muddy track. Before that, mile and 16 should be no problem for him. He's bred for the distance. He spent $1.3 million on this horse. His trainer Todd Fletcher, he's won this race five times. He has the fastest Brisnet speed figure in this race. And you know who has the second fastest Brisnet speed figure in this race? Well, it's him, Tappet Rice. So he's got the two fastest Brisnet speed figures in this race. Now that last race he won by eight, I'm not sure what effect Lasix had on that. It may have had some effect. But we know that he can win without Lasix as well. I think he's going to get a 
fast pace to set up his rally. Should be a pretty good pace in this one. He's going to be tough to beat. Getting 8-5 to five on the 6-horse tap at Trice. I will use the 6-horse on my tickets. Take a look at the 7-horse. 15-1. to one. Freedom Road. Looks like to me he does his best running in sprint races. Getting 15-1 to one on Freedom Road. I don't think he really wants this distance. Look at the eight, Dreaming of Kona, who should be falsely placed in this race. Broke his maiden by nine and a half. Last time out with Sam Davis, he didn't run well at all. Losing by 12. You got to question whether or not he wants this distance as well. Getting 30 to 1 on the 8 horse. Dreaming of Kona. And there's the 9 horse who may also be faultly placed in this race. Chesterkin. Broke his maiden by 2 and a quarter at Gulfstream. In his debut. And last time out. Took on Tappet Trice and wanted nothing to do with him. Losing by eight. Getting nine to two on Chesterkin. He is trained by Todd Fletcher. I'll use Chesterkin on my tickets. Take a look at a long shot at 20 to 1, the 10 horse champion's dream. He broke his mid in Saratoga, a two and a quarter. Then ran in the grade one champagne stakes on the sloppy track where he finished far back fifth. And picked up a grade three win in the Nashua next time out. Then he trained, changed trainers to Mark Cassie. Then his three-year-old debut off a couple month layoff. Didn't run bad at all. Finished second by a neck in the Pasco. Next time out, he was a major disappointment. What happened to him in a Sam Davis? I don't know. Finished 11, behind by 60. Got to think something went wrong with this horse. For him to finish so poorly, caught in a daily racing form. Champion's dream. Lost his shoe in that race. Came out of that race with a sore foot. Maybe that's the excuse for him running so poorly. Getting 20 to 1 on the 10 horse champion's dream. I'll use him underneath on my tickets at 20 to 1. It's the 11 horse, Zydeco, who should also be far placed in this race. Out of six races, that's three wins, second and a third. But it kind of looks like to me that he does his best racing in one-turn races. Last out in Sam Davis. Set a pretty good pace. He was part of a pretty good pace in that race. But he tired out and finished fifth. Getting 20-1 to 1 on 11-horse Zydeco. Take a look at another long shot. The 12-horse Prairie Hawk, side by Carlin. He's 20-1. to 1. Out of four races, has two wins, including a maiden win at Tampa. Next time out after that, an allowance race. Posted his fastest speed figure. But if you listened to my videos last week, talked about that L right there, getting Lasix. I've seen some of these young horses post really fast speed figures on Lasix. And then next time out, they run a race like this. But he finished ninth. You don't know. Sometimes Lasix has a positive effect on them. Sometimes it doesn't matter if they have Lasix or not. But that's something that you have to consider. And that's something that I consider. Getting 20 to 1 on the 12 horse Prairie Hawk. 
So these are the horses I'm going to use on my tickets. I'm going to use five of them on my tickets in this 12 horse field. I'm going with Tappage Rice, Classic Car Wash, Champion's Dream, Shesterkin, and Classic Legacy. Tappage Rice is definitely the fastest horse in this field and is the horse to beat. You very well could get a Pletcher exact in this one. But I'm going to try to beat the favorite. The horse I'm going to pick to win. I'm going with the three horse. Classic Legacy. Six to one with Irad Ortiz. Any multi-race wagers, I will include Tappet Trice in those. I'm not going to keep them off of my multis. I'm going with Classic Legacy to win the Tampa Bay Derby. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking. Good luck.